Something I've been curious about for a while is gunpowders and their burn rates and how much residue they leave behind. Uh, sometimes uh, different powders are a lot dirtier in the gun themselves. So I decided to do a little test here in the shop. I made up a little uh, wooden jig, about an eighth inch thick. Uh, the slot is three inches long by a quarter inch wide. This way I can just put the powder in and screed off the top and we'll go for a consistent volume of powder, not by weight. This way the uh, gunpowder has a consistent burn and we can check the times on that and then we'll look at the residue at the, at the end of this. So we'll see if we can make any sense out of this. In that test, the 231 pulled in at 6 seconds. I'll put up a photo after the burn and you can see the residue, the ash. Uh, some residue is stuck to the glass. I didn't scrape that all the way off. I just wanted to see how much, uh, how much carbon was left over. So that's 231. Now you can see the 4756 was a bit faster. It came in at 4.1 seconds. Uh, still had a bit of carbon build up at the end there. Uh, so I'll let you guys see and uh, you can make your own call on that. Now you could see the bullseye was a little faster than the 4756. Not by much, just a little bit. It did burn pretty clean though. Now you can really see how slow the long shot powder is. I had no idea it was that slow until I did this test. And I'll put up the uh, I'll put up the soot, and uh, it's a dirty powder. Even when it burned, it had the little black whispers floating in the air after it was done. So, like I said, it was during the crunch, and anything that went bang, we bought. So there's that. And there's the unique. Uh, that pulled in at 4.1 seconds, which uh, actually what the uh, 4756 did. Uh, as far as the burn charts, they're all over the place as far as how they rate these things. Uh, so we'll look at all the numbers at the end of this. Now this unique has me baffled a little bit here. Uh, the test I just ran was of the newer style unique, the new bottle of it. I had two others that uh, still have the old orange label on them. Uh, I did some tests on those and that powder, the older powder, burned a lot faster than the new powder. So everything was kept inside, climate control, in a steel cabinet, in the shade, no sunlight was hitting anything. Uh, the older bottles, one of them was still sealed uh, and one was opened up. But uh, I'll, show, I'll post it up here and show it to you guys, but this is pretty crazy. Now that was the old unique right there. You can see by the times they were quite a bit different. Now both bottles of the old Unique pulled in almost identical burn times that the test I just did. So I'm not really sure what's going on. If uh, somebody has an answer to that, I would, uh, I would like to hear it. Well, that's my test on these powders here. 
uh, sometimes you end up having more questions than answers at the end. Nothing in this test is, you know, rock solid evidence of anything. It's just a test that I did and wanted to see. Uh, as far as the powders themselves, uh, the residue that was left over on the glass, the 231 uh, had the least amount of residue uh, and also the least amount of carbon. Unique, I think, was the second best as far as the residue on the glass and the least amount of carbon. The long shot and the 4756 were the higher ones. I know when I shot the long shot, uh, that was extremely full of carbon. Uh, a lot of work cleaning out. 4756, that had a fair amount too. Uh, I've had great results with all these powders. Uh, I load them for the 200 semi wad cutter at 900 feet per second, you know, give or take. And that gives me an energy at the muzzle of 359. I always go back to the old school of a 230 round nose coming out of about 825 gave you 347 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. Figuring I didn't want to mess around with the springs, I run an 18 pound spring in my 1911. So as long as I keep the energy relatively close to that I shouldn't have any cycling problems. But uh, the only real thing that drove me crazy on this whole thing was the old unique uh, having such a, a faster burn rate than anything so this just turned into a, a little project more time than I thought it would be but uh, anyway hope you guys uh, you know found any of this information might be helpful to you maybe not but curiosity <laughs>